Life is a journey made up of experiences, some good, some bad, some happy, some sad. We may all be different, but we are connected through the fact that no matter who we are, our stories all have hills and valleys. We dedicate tonight's episode to those who, even through darkness, still dare to dream. Welcome to Sim Soul Sessions. everybody and welcome to the show. This week in our safe space is a man who dares to dream in defiance of all the darkness life has dealt him. You can join in tonight's conversation by using the hashtag SimSoulSessions. From going up in tough circumstances to rocky relationships to incredible loss, Nesbeth's takeaway is that life is still a joy and that he has more to celebrate than to be sorrowful for. So we welcome him to our safe space. Nesbeth, good to have you. Blessings, good blessings, Good to have you, blessings, good to have you. Blessings. I must tell you, in talking to you in preparation for this show, it was such a blessing to me. I told you that on the phone. Yeah. Um, always inspired by you, but just to hear what you really went through. Um, here you're talking about my dream and how that song really chronicles your journey. And one particular line that you said you were singing so you're going to take playing like J-U-T-C. And you said to me, Simone, I didn't even know if I have a J-U-T-C bus money when I was making that song. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about that. The, 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 the period before the big bus. You were an artist, but it wasn't really feeding you so well. It was more of a warm-up. You know, it was a warm-up section of my career. Mm -hmm. So I'm an optimistic person. Yeah. And it's true. Such mindset came the dream. I just always believed that I, I couldn't say when, where, and how it's going to happen, but I could definitely put my life on it to say that it will. You know what I mean? I said, so the dream, of course, you would have known my first popular song mm -hmm. is uh, So Let It Be, popularly known as I Love Her, She Loves Me, I Need Her, She Needs Me. You know what I say? But it was a warm up thing on the Shocking Vibes label, Golden Bar Tabridi, and then to Boyd House. Board yeah, but the Boyd House burned down in mm -hmm. 07. Mm -hmm. But it, that was still a warm up, you yeah. know. It, 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 it's my first hit song, you know, but, but it dream. Was just preparation for where you were Yeah, dream, dream kind of really shoot it you, off. You, you, you said you're an optimistic person, and you told me you kind of had to be an optimistic person given mm. the way you were raised. Yeah. Because you were raised in tough situation. Tough, tough At situation. At one point, both mm. of your parents were incarcerated. Yeah, definitely. Um, and you, 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 you kind of say you, you grew up and you could have chosen another way, but you didn't choose that way. Mm. Because you decided that however you turn out is on you and, and me. nobody else. And nobody else. So how did you build that character? Where did that come from? Tell me your foundation is built on, on, on just rocky situation uh, no i'm not gonna say that you know it's all dark days because i'm i would be lying if mm. i'm saying that but the thing about it is that i grew up in trenchtown and it garden well kingston 11 12 and 13. so kingston 11 waterhouse you know with my aunt um on garden kingston 12. um maxil avenue kingston 13. now of course you know i i grew up with two sisters and one brother. And when I evaluate, when I look at my mom and my dad, I realize that they could hardly, you know, be there for us. So, I know say, definitely, I would have to do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. Just definitely say, yo, you hear me? Me have to change the, situ the situation, yeah. And then, of course, you know, growing up, you know, I attend Charlie Smith Comprehensive High School, Maxfield Park Primary, and, uh, and Glen Garth Secondary, because at one point I was like about the place, because as you said earlier, my mom and my dad was incarceration. And so 
you know, it, 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 it get even tougher down that part because, you know, while I was um, living with my aunt, and of course she have her kids there, but, you know, when you look on a mother to a child opposed to um, an aunt to a nephew, mm -hmm. you know, me I say it's like sometimes you just envy the, the love there because there's nobody can show you that mother love, you know, you can have substitute. But to be on point, you definitely have to have the mother there, you have to have the father there. You know what I mean? So, you know, you know, those times, you know, bring tears, not just to my eyes, but to my heart. So that kind of helped to build me. And my mom got into a fight and she was at um, um, Fort Augustus. Mm -hmm. And I remember going there with my stepfather at, at the age of 12. And... Yeah, she did, I think, 18 months. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I went there with my stepfather, and they asked him, say, if he think I preach, because I wanted to see my mom. You were, you were 12? At 12 year old. And they must say, if he think he's a preach, so he um, denied entry. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we stand up there and I look up on the gate. And of course, being 12, the gate got to be so tall. And you, you know remember that vividly? Yeah. I remember that, and I never lose memory of it. And I remember when I heard that I was going to perform at Fort Augustus, it's like those memories just came back to me. You said and you had I'm sleepless like, nights because you were so excited. Yeah, I was so, that, 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 that um, I can't even find words to explain because now I am going in there as a superstar. You know what I say? And I remember that my mom was in there and I was denied entry. And, and I am saying that, you know what? Uh, I go and go lift the spirit of the inmates them. Because I say, yo, this I have to do it. I'm going to go in there see in there because I've been locked out. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? I'm going to go in there. And when I go in there, and I don't remember which year, but when I go inside there, you know, that show was off the chain. But then it becomes a bittersweet because when, I, when, when, when the show is Finish. concluded, every, they're going back to their dormitory, and I'm like, yo. You know, for a minute I thought it was like on the outside. But again, I encouraged them to stay strong because my mom was in similar situation. Mm -hmm. But again, that is a part of, you know, it helped to mold me to come to the realization that after I evaluate my mom and my dad growing up, I just tell myself, say, yo, you hear me? You know, say, I think my mom and my dad do as much as they could possibly Best do for me. So have. now it is me now we have to just take the button there and do what I have to do. So I just know that if I don't reach nowhere in my life, I don't have anybody to blame but myself. All right, hold on to that thought, Nesbeth. We're going to talk about how you got here mm -hmm. um, and some other bumps that you met up on yeah. the way um, that you managed to get through because, as you say, you're an optimistic person. We have more with, with Nesbeth on the other side. Soon come back. Welcome back to the show, guys. Nesbeth still with us. So um, you spoke about your mom and your dad before the break. Mm -hmm. You lost your mom in 2013. Mm. Three years later, you lost your wife. Yeah. We all heard about that. Yeah. Like a month later, you lost your sister, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but probably a month. At the time when my wife was sick, my sister was also sick. So my wife passed on and then my sister fell on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the day your wife was flown home, mm -hmm. they called you to identify her. You were supposed to be singing at the Prime Minister's inauguration. Yeah. What a day in your life. What a day. What a day. <laughs> Showed you the highs that you'd come to and, and experiencing such pain at the same time. Mm -hmm. Then you lost your grandmother yeah. the year after. I think it was the years. year after. And your, and your aunt? Yeah, my aunt. I think my aunt followed my sister. And that was the aunt that I was living with in Waterhouse and the gully banks, you know? And um, and my brother. And then last year you lost your brother? Last year, September. Nesbeth, how you deal mm. with, how you process all of that loss and pain? Well, honestly, <laughs> me was to ask myself, oh, but then, it was this time when, when, I, when, when my mom passed and it was, I was trying to, you know, come to grip to say, okay, this is what it is. But, 
it never really, it was taking a while until my wife and my sister have to break up and I say, no man, that thing gonna look too right, you know. I want really a go on, you know what I mean? I say, and we believe in the Most High, so we don't really believe in the power other than the Most High. So I say, yo, what is this? And then we say to myself, say, you know, I question myself, I wonder if life will attack me. Because now if life will attack me, me now I figure, see what I can do for really put up a defense. But then I realized, say, long before I lost my mom, you know, people are lose their mother. Long before I lost my wife, people are lose their wife. You know what I say? And on top of it, I just start looking on the brighter side. So let, let's say I lost my, uh, my mom in 2013. I lost my mom when I was a big man. Mm -hmm. You know, some people still are searching for their mother. You know what I say? So I think, yo, I have more to give thanks for than to really bury myself in a sorrow. And then I have a race to run for my kids them and for my fans them to go for love my music. Because mm -hmm. I inspire the world. I not just there sing music because I put a plate of food on the table. Yeah, for a purpose. You know, I started off that way because coming from a number beginning there, you seek and search for your way out. But outside of it... I love how you evaluate it, though. So you look at the time you had with your mother. Mm -hmm. You say you lost your wife, but some men lost their girlfriends. Never you get married. got to marry yeah, her. Yeah, and my sister, and me can, me can remember the days when we used to play together. We can remember we good and we bad time. We can remember so much more. So we just really keep that closer. Mm -hmm. So, of course, darkness is there because a lot of people may want to believe that Okay, you lost a loved one, so you climb that bridge there, you go over the mountain there. Such is not, mm -hmm. it, do, it do not go like that. It is, a, it is a load that you carry for the duration of your life. Now, it is how you choose to carry that load sure. that is going to make it um, darkness or light. I choose to carry that load from a balanced note where I understand that they are not here because sometimes I have a drive and or sometimes something nice happen to me and you know, me just I imagine so them could have there and tears just run from my eye. But the tears there are more likely say, oh, yeah, hear me? When tears of joy flow, sometimes it brings forth pain because I know where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. But outside of it, I still understand that, you know what? Uh, for me to stand up in the Gideon uh, and still I survive and still I go through, no, I have to pat myself on the <laughs> shoulder and I say, yo, nice bet, Jadu. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, I have fans and I like them selfish, them say, nice bet, we know you have got through your bad times. But let me tell you this, you say, if I never hear words of inspiration, we don't need a life here, you know. Do all kind of things to yourself, you know. So they must say, nice bet, we see you have got through your moment, but do. Do not let go, because mm -hmm. if you let go, we're going to let go as well. So again, no, I don't want that responsibility there. If them are hang on and not because of me, no, me have to do everything to make sure them hold on tight. Because, I hear you. Mm. I hear you. And then you have five kids yeah, drafted who are dependent. Yeah. Three here, two abroad. Two abroad. One in oh. Canada, one in America, and three in Jamaica. So, I think, and my kids are my inspiration mm -hmm. as well, you know. Mm -hmm. I love them dearest, I love them. And I don't even believe I would reach as far if I never really have that much love for me with them. And too, I love them more time, and them I laugh and talk, and they come like, you know, mm -hmm. I forget to me and them father. He's like, <laughs> me, I'm a little friend. More time, I say, hey, remember to me and your father. You know? <laughs> and your so. and your dual role now, your, your daddy and mommy. We're going, we're, going, we're going to investigate a little further, but first we wanted to, to put something mm. together to show you before yeah. we wrap today. Mm. Go ahead, Laura. I just want you to know I really love and appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you have done for me. You've always been there for me. It doesn't matter what it is, you were always there to help me through. You've never missed a milestone. You are my biggest motivator, my biggest supporter, and I just want you to know that I really appreciate you and I love you dearly from the bottom of my heart. The regular man's mind can't even fathom the stress that I have put you through, but through all of that, you still stood beside me, showed me wrong from right, and a lot of people don't have any mother like me right now, but you're both the mother and the father.
one put in a good word from your heart. You do it already and you can do it again forever and forever. Greatness in the band, greatness in the family. We love you from our heart every time. Hey Uncle Greg, I love you. The most fun I had with you is when you took me to Devon House. I love you Uncle Greg. You are my favorite uncle in the world. You are one of my favorite artists. I love your spirit, I love your drive. I love the way you always keep pushing on. I love your never give up attitude. Yo, it's a blessing to see where you reach right now and see the dream unfold for you. Because I remember back then when they just do the first song where we used to go down at the bar, go punch the music there, reflection of love from the jukebox. So right now, to know which part you reach and to know so I have a, a part, a part that I'm taking out, you know? It's a joy. And I'm telling you this, as a brother to a brother, wouldn't expect nothing more from you. I just want to let you know that you are my biggest influencer. You are truly everything that I aspire to be like when I grow up. I just want to also thank you for all the adventures, all the memories, all the sacrifices. Thank you for always being there for us when we need you the most. Thank you for being such a great teacher, a great listener. Uncle Greg, you're a blessing. You have done so many things for me. Well, words cannot even explain the joy that you have bring. You are like the world's greatest coach, my favorite teacher, all rolling to one. I just want to tell you how much I love you, how much I really appreciate you. The mere fact that you're on your journey, keep doing what you're doing, keep doing it for your kids, keep shining, you're improving every step of the way. I want to show you how we appreciate you, you have been there for us so many times, your words of encouragement have taken me through a lot. And just want to say, continue to trust in God. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you, Greg Nelson, of how you moved on strong when times have been tough. Myself and the family are proud to have such a dedicating and hardworking person like you. You motivate us all. We love you. Bless up. Keep strong. Keep doing what you have to do. Keep doing what you're doing. From the root to the stem. Just keep pushing on. And I love you. I love you. We love you, Uncle. I truly love and appreciate everything that you've done for us thus far. Thank you. It's a joy. You have far more place to go. Shout out. Boom. And I just want to say, thanks for always being there. I love you. No. On the plan. <laughs> I, I really and truly appreciate that. And my words can't even mm -hmm. explain okay. how much I appreciate it's okay. it. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes words are not enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Soak it in. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. All right, we're back to wrap it up, everybody. Now, Beth, when you and I spoke, um, and I was asking you where you get your joy from, mm. you were saying that y you brought my attention to the, to the yin and yang of life. You said, Simone, mm. as we're talking now, mm. somebody's dying, yeah. but somebody's being born. Yeah. Somebody's being locked away, mm. but somebody's being freed. Yeah. So the balance of life is something that came to me very strongly when you and I spoke. For your fans or for people watching tonight who have heard what you have gone through, mm. who are going through their own grief and loss and devastation and feel like they just can't manage. Um, you are here to say. Well, because um, different people handle the situation differently, mm. you know. Mm. So sometimes I don't expect you to handle it the way in which I can handle it because, you know, I am molded to handle my situation the way in which I, you know, I'm angling it. 
But what I would want you to do is just to look into yourself. Look into yourself, see how best you can seek and search and find somebody who you think you can pull closer to. And, and, and share it with somebody because sometimes when you have it bottled up in you, you know, it, it is more dangerous. You know, I mean, I said, just like one time I used to realize, I realized that when people greet me, like my fans, they will say, Yo, you know, me and your wife did go to school, I, you know, yeah. and it kind of mashed me up, you know. But no, me have to go sit down <coughs> in a corner and tell myself, say, How oh, me deal with this? Because I know the fans them not really mean me not arm. Exactly. But no, how you balance that? So then me have to go sit down and say, all right, this is what it is. I know we'd have to face the reality. And, and, and I speak about it regular, you know. As they say, who that? Me I talk about it. So I get so used to talking about it that it become a part of me talking about it. So it don't really affect me that much. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely... I would definitely... Encourage, encourage you, you all to, do, to, to find somebody where you, where that can give you a listening ears. Mm -hmm. And I understand that sometimes when people are relate them problems, they don't really want nobody to tell them if go left or go right. Sometimes people just want to talk just and want somebody to listen mm -hmm. to them. So mm -hmm. I would definitely ask a few to draw closer to anybody who you trust and believe in mm -hmm. and see how best you can reason with them. Maybe them not really have the answer for you, but them can direct you to somebody who have the answer. Right. You know, because right. we all need each other sometime or the other. I am not going to say I'm the toughest. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? Because I am human and I have emotions. Mm -hmm. So sometimes again, I feel down and there's sometimes when I just feel up. But believe you me, in a my down moment, in a my dark moment, or when there's no light, me I put the light there. In the back of my head, there's a light there. And I keep telling myself there's a light until it automatically comes to pass. You know what I say? I hear you. Yeah, man, I continuously mm -hmm. tell myself, man, and never tell myself, say, yo, I just said, end. The journey continues. And we're going to tap it on that note. So, man, is a poet, you know? He's a poet. We're gonna we're gonna leave with our affirmation. Stay with me, Nesbeth. Let's close out the show. Um, thank you so um, much. Yes. I wanted to say something about blood letter. All right, it's all right. We can we can do it after. Let me just get through the affirmation. Here's the affirmation, guys. <clears throat> okay. So my guest tonight is truly the personification of the fact that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And because his journey is so powerful, tonight's affirmation could have been about so many things. The power of perseverance, the achievement of dreams powered by determination and drive, the power of repurposed pain, and the possibility of passing through tough things and times and pushing through a seemingly impossible process. We all deal with things differently and that is the beauty of humanity. But the key takeaway tonight is that out of pain, can come joy, moments and magical memories, an appreciation of the here and now, and a passion for impacting lives and loving hard. We are stronger than we know. Nesbeth proves that. And it, he also proves that even while it's hot and it's hard, we are equipped with the tools we need to move forward from just about anything that life has in store for us. As he said to me, Acknowledge your past, but focus on your future. Glance your past, acknowledge your present, and focus, focus on, on your future. future. Understand the yin and yang of life, because it is in that balance that the beauty lies. And realize that in the end, that even with the downs, life is an upward journey, a journey of joy. And all that will eventually matter is how well we loved and how fully we lived. This gentleman has more music coming. Um, blood letter we have to go so i will tell them we'll tell them more on our social pages you can check for that it will be posted um post out on the 27th of this month black friday all right okay so blood letter will be all over the world in your mail email in your letter box whichever carrier you have all right. that you accept mail from blood we, letter we gotta go nisbeth our affirmation tonight i am built to overcome life's obstacles and i know that whatever comes I should still dare to live the life of my dreams. Thank you guys for watching tonight's show. We will be back next week 
with another story of the power of the human spirit. Until then, every blessing and please remember to count your blessings. Thank you, Nesbeth. Good night, everybody.